Here's the most important car modeling tutorial that you've ever seen in your life, part two. In the last episode, we talked about how you can use the grid fill tool to very easily create curved and bent kind of geometry, the type that you would probably need to create for cars and parts of a car. But I'm gonna show you something which is arguably even more important for modeling cars today. And this is gonna make it really easy to model these kind of surfaces where you have multiple corners, multiple parts. It's a large area which has different parts sticking out of it. It has holes, it has thickness, and it connects to other parts. This is gonna help you a lot for this type of stuff. Now we all know what the subdivision surface modifier does. If you have a plane and you extrude an edge out of it, right now it's just a sharp corner. But if we add a subdivision surface modifier, this is gonna become a little bit more smooth and soft and subdivided. You can also do this by pressing Control 2, Control 3, Control for whatever. We also know that the solidify modifier adds some thickness to our shape. So it's basically like extruding something and pressing Alt S to add some thickness to this surface. So if we have a subdivision surface modifier on an object, every time we extrude this object, we're going to be working with a subdivided object. So even though we're modeling a low poly mesh, we're seeing a smooth result. The same way, if we have a solidify modifier on our object, as we're modeling, every new part of geometry that we create or extrude or whatever, it's gonna be solidified so it's going to be thick. And this is extremely useful when you're modeling something like cars because you have organic surfaces, which you have to model in low poly, and then you have to subdivide them to make them smooth. So here's an easier way to do that because it's easier to model on a low poly mesh. We're gonna put this little plane somewhere on a part of the car where it kind of fits the surface. So I'm gonna start with this position right here. And just for better demonstration, maybe I'll extrude this edge and push it out here and align this edge and this part of the face with another part of the high poly mesh that I want to create here. Now I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and I'll put about two or three subdivisions on that just so it looks nicer. Now I got this little arrow which I can use to collapse this modifier. Now it's just going to take up less space in the menu so I can add more shit here. And now I want to add a solidify modifier. So if I increase the thickness on the solidify modifier, I can give it the thickness that it's supposed to have to match this vehicle. Now right now it's easy because I already have a model of this car but maybe you're looking at a reference. So you're to be able to figure out how thick this is supposed to be according to that. And now I have just two faces which I can extrude out to model the rest of this object as I have both solidify and subdivision on this object at the same time. Do you see how easy that makes it to model any part of a car? You're modeling it in low poly but you're looking at a high poly model so that makes it very non-destructive. Now I would first recommend that you subdivide this only once while you're modeling the general shape then you can apply this subdivision surface modifier once you have more or less the right shape that you're looking for and now you can add another subdivision surface modifier just just make sure you place it on top to make everything look nicer. Now you have some more geometry which you can use to give some better adjustments to this shape. And as you go, you might have to apply this subdivision surface again and then add a new one and so on. Just be aware that this is going to crank up your polygon count by quite a bit. Now what's even cooler is you can open the solidify modifier, you can check only rim and that's going to delete the undersides of this surface. So now you only have the top part and an edge here, but the bottom sides are cleared, which means you can add an extra subdivision surface modifier and that's going to make these edges look a lot smoother and softer. But the underside is still going to look pretty sharp. That's just another function that might be useful for you at some point. Now let me show you another trick that might come in handy. This might be useful if you're modeling armor or some shit like that. I saw this from another YouTuber, but I can't remember his name he was modeling like a robot or something like that but if you have a plane you can apply a subdivision surface modifier to it and let's say we're going to set the number of subdivisions to two or three now we're going to check simple here and we're going to collapse this subdivision surface modifier then we're going to add a new subdivision surface modifier and this one's going to have one or two subdivisions and now as we're modeling this object in low poly the edges are nice and smooth and beveled but the corners still look pretty tight so everything is beveled but only a little bit and of course you can also add a solidify modifier to this and I would recommend you use only rim when you're modeling like this and it's probably a good idea to put the solidify modifier in between the two subdivision surface modifiers so here's what's happening here now we have a simple low poly mesh then we added a subdivision surface modifier but we're using the simple algorithm so this mesh is subdivided but it's not smooth typically your subdivision surface modifier is going to make something smooth but if you check simple it's only going to get subdivided but it's not going to be made smooth so if you apply this modifier here's what happens it's basically like subdividing it using w or something so now that we have all that extra geometry we add some solidity to this object which gives it a nice little rim on the sides and that way when we add the final subdivision surface modifier not only is it subdivided but the subdivisions are controlled because of how much geometry there is near the edges we also have this extra rim on the side so the ends of this object are going to look nice and smooth and round so that's just a couple of tips for how you can combine modifiers to model organic stuff or cars or armor or whatever
whatever you're making. If you want to see more tips like this, I'm making an ebook where I'm going to put everything that I know about Blender and we're going to go deep on this shit. Every important modifier, we're going to break it down fully. We're going to go deep on every function, every tool, and everything like that. So you can pre-order that. I'll put the link below. I'm also making a full super car modeling course on Patreon. Right now, we're doing the interior for a Lamborghini Countach. So if you want to see that, then check out my Patreon. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.